we were talking about those new refrigerants, the HFOs. HFOs, they're the new refrigerants. Okay, they're the new generation of refrigerants. They consist of hydrogen, fluorine, and olefin. Now, DuPont and Honeywell, they introduced HFO 1234YF. 1234YF, that was introduced to the automotive industry in 2007. So there have been cars out there that have this new refrigerant in them. We have been used to seeing 134A in cars, but there are some cars from 2007 on up that have been using this HFO 1234YF. Now, the car manufacturers are starting to use 134A even more now. And as of 2021, most or all cars will have 1234YF. Most people have never heard of this refrigerant, but it does exist and it is out there. Now, 1234YF is similar in pressures and temperatures to that of 134A. So that's a good thing. The pressures and temperatures are going to be almost the same. It does not affect the technician so much, but it says that HFO characteristics are non-ozone depleting and have low global warming potential. That's why HFOs are the refrigerant of the future because no chlorine, they're not gonna destroy the ozone and they have very low global warming potential. They're not going to warm up the earth. Now, because of fluorine, HFOs are less flammable than hydrocarbon refrigerants. So because of the fluorine gas that they use, hydrogen, fluorine, and olefin, because of the fluorine, they're less flammable than hydrogen refrigerants.